Ebola, swine flu, SARS, the financial implications of a health crisis of global proportions would be immense. Governments and healthcare providers are keen to find cost-effective solutions. Personal hygiene is one of the basics of preventing contagion. But, somewhat amazingly, no studies had been done to illustrate its effectiveness. The last swine flu pandemic is the context here. And the Medical Research Council said we really need to know, should another pandemic happen, what are the best ways of slowing what we call the pandemic curve. So you can imagine if you've got a nasty virus, it spreads rapidly through the population and first primary care services get, get overwhelmed and then secondary care services. And so you want to do everything you can to slow things down and to help protect people. So they, they said, you know, we want research to help us know exactly what's going to work. So although hand washing was used in the last pandemic, um, the evidence for that wasn't great. There weren't that very many good studies. So that's what this study was about, basically to try and show something that might work. Thousands of participants took part in a controlled four-part online programme that aimed to get them to wash their hands ten times a day. So it basically found out what you were doing in terms of hand washing, and how many times you were doing it, when you were doing it, um, then got you to, to, to do a little plan of what you might do to increase your hand washing. And we were aiming to get up to about ten hand washes a day. So things like uh, you could wash your hands when you come in from outside, when you might have viruses on your hands, or just before you're going to eat. Showed you how to do it properly. So you have to hand wash probably for about 10 to 15 seconds to get sort of viruses off. And the, the bits that you forget, which is the end of the fingers, which is the, the bits where you might be touching food and then taking the virus in. So how to do it properly. And then monitoring you um, to see how you're doing, how many hand washes you're doing, revising that, dealing with any issues that come up. So if you like, quite a complex behavioural programme, but in four web-based sessions, it doesn't take very long. So that's, that's what we did, and people were, were randomised to either get that or, or nothing really. The people who had the website, they, it turned out they got fewer infections themselves, about 15% less. Fewer of their family members got infections, so they, you reduced transmission to family members got fewer um, tummy infections, diarrhea and vomiting. They went to the GP less, about 10% less, and had fewer antibiotics. The researchers hope their results will overcome the public and the scientific community's scepticism around the benefits of hand washing. People are rightly a bit sceptical, you know, well, why should I wash my hands? And, and for most people, I suppose, if you're not at a particular risk of infection, you think, well, it's not a problem for me. So I think this, this study does actually show um, that a sort of, and we we're talking not a huge increase in hand washing. As you say, everybody does wash their hands a bit, so the people in the control group wash their hands about six times a day, and we aim to get it up to ten, so it's only another four washes a day, and that was enough to make this difference. So, yeah, it is something everybody does, but not everybody does it quite enough or quite well enough to make a difference to infections. Experts say using hand gels is just as effective as washing with soap and water. But they do warn that clean towels are a must for drying hands afterwards. Charlotte Buredney, Solent News Now.